Okay, so we are back with part two of my lipstick decluttering. If you have not seen the first part, make sure to go check it out. But for this part, I am quickly realizing I'm still wearing the same thing because literally it's just one part is on one memory card and the second part is on the other because I ran out of space on the other one and I realized, wow, I, I'm, I'm only halfway through decluttering and I've already used up one card. So we're going to have to speed it up here with the rest of these lipsticks. I'm just letting y'all know, have I tried it? You know, how's the formula? Is it staying or going? So let's just get right into it. I left off with the Abella Liquid Lipsticks. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to keep Sin or not. You would think in all this time that I've had, I would have figured it out if I wanted to keep it. And because I can't figure it out, I'm just going to let it go. And then Moody can go as well. Oh, one thing about Abella, I think the company is gone because their Instagram is gone nothing comes up for the website so i don't think you guys can purchase those if you wanted to it is a nice formula but that's a little sketchy these are the ofra long lasting liquid lipsticks you guys saw me unbox this in a pr unboxing i did late last year and i'm sad to say that i still have not used these and if i have it was like once or twice where i can't remember the formula so i'm gonna go through and look at what colors i don't want and then keep hopefully keep one or two just so i can get a better grasp on the formula so we've got hypno Yes, that would be a nice combination color. Harlem. Harlem gets a stage just because of the name. Yeah, I know I'm petty. Um, Havana Nights. That can go. Coven. Like, how many metallic lipsticks do you need? Coven can go. Santa Ana can go. Brooklyn. Y'all already know I'm in New York. I'm just gonna put that down next to Harlem. Um, Emerald City. Emerald City. I know I just said how many metallic lipsticks can you have, but look at her. She can say. She kind of reminds me of Snakeskin. Why do I keep calling all of my products her? Okay. Um, Americano. I'm gonna keep that. And then I don't. Oh, Mocha. I think. No, I have. I have tried one of their lipsticks before. I think it's a good formula from what I can remember. Just the name Mocha reminds me that I've tried Mocha before. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Mocha too. We've got these lipsticks from CoverGirl. These are their Melting Pouch Mattes. Never tried the formula, so just going off color here. Um, Secret. Nah. Never say never. Oh, we're gonna say never today. Um, Coral Chronicles. All right. <laughs> oh, we've got we've found a winner, ladies and gentlemen. This blue supermodel. Yes, ballerina. Go put her next to those. Current nude. Current nude will be a nice combination color. So will champagne showers. All nighter. All nighter can stay. Seismic? I'm pretty sure I didn't say that right. Um, that can say. Alrighty then, because CoverGirl is just coming out with the lipsticks lately. These are their CoverGirl Queen lipsticks. I feel like I haven't seen them release anything. CoverGirl Queen in a hot minute. Um, I have not tried these yet. I was supposed to do an Instagram swatching video. I haven't gotten around to that. So again, if you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Um, this is... Well, can I get rid of them? If uh, Yeah, uh, I'll do a Instagram story video of whatever I decide to keep because, you know, there might be some colors here that I just, I, I know off rip, I don't need. This is Bay, like Bay, that can go. Um, LBD, which, you know, little black dress, but this is lipstick form. I'm gonna keep this. I know I said all that stuff about black in the other video, but you know what? Yeah. Insider. Actually, I'll keep Insider. I, that's not going to be a color I use on its own, but I'm going to keep it. Um, major Moment. I'll keep Major Moment. Rebel. I'll keep Rebel. Slow Jam. That's a yes. Clean Slate. That's a yes. Wedding Crasher. Not my wedding. Have you carried right out me my mama um wedding crasher i'll keep watch my mama watch this video and have so much to say sweetest taboo i'll keep that flamingo y'all who are who are watching the video are probably waiting for me to put that down um cakewalk 
a cute cakewalk, no chill, I'll keep no chill. And actually, I think I'm going to keep Flamingo, no, I'm going to get rid of Flamingo. Alright, these are by Morphe, do you have another name or just, alright, these are the Morphe liquid lipsticks, this is Bonnie, Bonnie is a nice red. I feel like I'm probably going to have to do a decluttering video of just red lipsticks. Um, lovely. I have not tried the formula, so I can't tell you guys about this one. Here, lovely would kind of be nice with... I'm going I'm to let go of lovely. And then stunner. I'm going to go ahead and keep stunner. These are the Ciate London Glitter Flips. These, basically, you apply them onto your lips and then I think you push on them or you, you know, mush your lips together and they're supposed to create some type of glitter effect to your lips. They do work. I'm just looking at them thinking, how often am I going to need that type of lip? But again, never know when you might need it. So out of the three colors that I have, the bluish one, Iconic, can stay. I feel like, like when am I ever going to need a glitter lip of this? Uh, I'll let go of this one. And then Fortune, I'm a key. These are by Rimmel London. These are their Provoca lips. I think it's like a lip gloss and a lip color on each side. I've never tried <laughs> the formula of these before. So we're just going off color here. I really don't think I see a color that... Mm. Eh. This one... For you. Y'all would not believe how long it took me to finally find the names of these lipsticks, lip glosses, whatever these are. This is not Guilty. I'll keep that. This is Kissed Fatal. I will keep that. And then this is just... Wait... I'll get rid of Just Fatal. All right, moving on to the Mented Lip... No, these are Bullet Lipsticks. These were the ones I was talking about when I said that these are the ones where I'm just like, wow, all right, those are, those are some bomb Bullet Lipsticks. However, I don't need all six. Oh, I don't need all six of them. I don't reach for all six of them. So let's see what we're going to keep here. We're going to keep... Oh, if you guys have not seen the video on these, these are Bullet Lipstick Nudes that are supposed to be good nudes for women of color. And in that video, you can see that pretty much all six, even though there is some, like, you know, like, pink nudes in here, look nice on my skin tone, so make sure to check these out. But I'm going to keep Dark Knight. I'm going to keep... Uh, that was Nude Lala that I let go of. There is Mented 5. I'm going to keep that. Dope Hope. You look like a guy. Yeah, I'll keep this one. Foxy Brown, I believe I can let go. Yeah, I'm gonna let go of Foxy Brown. This gives me like 90s type of nude. And then there is Pretty in Pink. That I'm gonna keep. Okay, we have even more bullet lipsticks. Becca also came out with like a nude bullet lipstick type of uh, launch there. Some of these aren't as, you know, friendly to my skin tone. Let me open them just because I can't see the colors and figure out which ones got to get up out of here. These are a nice formula of bullet lipsticks, enough that, you know, I feel like keeping any of them. This is Lush Lip. That can go. All right, Lush Lip can go. You would think I could see through since it's clear, but I really can't. Alrighty then. Wait, no. This says Lush Lip too. So what's the actual shade? Oh, this is a uh, cafe. Cafe can go. This is chai cream. I'll keep this. This will be nice with other colors. Cherry ganache. This ain't, this ain't going anywhere. I'm gonna keep that. Uh, black violet. I feel like this is the color my mom would like. No shade. Um, but do I like her? I'll keep this. And toasted hazelnut. I will keep. Now, the first one that I said I was going to get rid of that I didn't say the right name was 
milk chocolate. So I'm gonna get rid of milk chocolate and cafe. Did you think we were done with the bullet lipsticks? We have the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipsticks. Thank you for having the colors on the bottom. This is 660. That's a no on 660. 360, I will keep. I, I have not tried this formula, can't tell you about it. 310, I will keep. 410 looks exactly like 310 at least from the stickers on the bottom, although 410 looks a little bit darker, so just to play it safe, I'll keep 410, get rid of 310. Uh, 220 is a nude, but is it my nude is the question. I'll get rid of that one there. And 500, this Diva Red, it's got red in it, so you all know I'm gonna keep it. So on to these bullet lipsticks, also from Rimmel. These are their Lasting Finish by Kate. Kate Two. Kate Hudson, Kate, I don't know, but we've got this color, which I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass it on. There you go. And then we've got this color, which she passes the test. All right, Kate. Still don't know which Kate, but no. Yes. I hope you're not tired of bullet lipsticks because we have these bullet lipsticks from Rimmel in collaboration with Kate. You think they would have been a little more specific, as if you know Kate is not a popular name, even for celebrities. Um, so we've got this color, which I'm gonna go ahead and keep. I'm pretty sure I have an addiction to reds, and then we've got this color, which I'm also go ahead and keep. Kate is coming through. I just wish I knew which Kate it was, because we also have this one that is also by Rimmel, also in collaboration with Kate, and this. Oh. We haven't seen this color yet. It, it's right there on my hand and do you guys actually see anything? Because I don't. I guess it's just a clear lipstick, which I don't have so I guess I'll keep. Alrighty then, when I did the video on the mented lipsticks for women of color, I also included these lipsticks by The Elegant Cosmetics and you guys see Triple Fudge Brownie in just about every video that I post here on my channel so you know it's not going anywhere. Um, hot Cocoa can go. Um, cookies and Cream, I'll keep. This will be a nice, you know, collab color and then mocha latte can go so these are two lipsticks from a, a company that i have not tried yet but it's called glam queen cosmetics there is the shade 002 and 003 003 seems like a nice brown chocolatey color so i'll keep that and i'll let go of 002 so i got a whole bunch of color pop lipsticks here and i feel like i've said enough about color pop that we have to do some type of you know like lightning round with them where it's just like either you gonna go or you know i'll keep you because do you really want to hear me say anything more about color pop so first we've got tulips i will keep this let's see here charming it can go don't think we're ever using it um netta i'll keep netta london london can go Let's see here. Mess around. I will keep misbehaving. That can go. Now I know this is guess without even looking, and it's just crusty. I feel like I should part ways with this. It's it's just no. I'm, I'll let go of guess. Like actually throw that one away. So there's that. Uh, Yoshi. I'm going to keep. Sessy. I'm going to keep Sessy. Oh, this is another Abella one that I guess got lost in the mix because it looks like ColourPop packaging, but it's a red, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, Renmin, which um, people let me know in that video is actually not pronounced Renmin, it's just spelled that way. I guess it's a misspelling here, but it's actually Renmin, which is a, a Haitian word. So I'm gonna, ahead and, gonna go ahead and keep that. Prim, I'm gonna keep Prim. Let's see, this is Friday. It's a black, y'all know I'm gonna keep it six dollars uh cherry on top i'll let go of anyways i'm gonna keep why did i say it like that um catching feelings can go and 
and Stilo. I'm going to keep. This is a very nice gloss. This is Limbo. Limbo was a fave for a minute, but this is also to the point where Guests has gotten, where I feel like it's just better for me to part ways because it's gotten quite crusty. These are the Black Radiance Perfect Tone Matte Lip Creams. Again, not the biggest fan of lip creams, but I do like these colors, so this is one of those I'll sit through it type of formulas. However, I'm only going to keep uh, this one. 5405 and I'll get rid of this one because I have other colors that are similar to that. I just got these in the mail. These are also from Lunatic Cosmetics. I wanted to do an Instagram lip swatching video or maybe I could do a YouTube swatching video. I don't know. Let me know depending on how many colors I keep. But um, I'm going to let go of this one. Crypt Cream. Y'all already know this wasn't going anywhere. This is Ritual Red. Um, pout off. I'll keep it just since I don't know what the formula is like. And you know, I, I said I need like a bizarre color like this. If this tops the formula of some of the other ones that I kept like this, then I can just keep this one and get rid of the other ones. Um, Grave Hearts. Nah. This ain't going anywhere just because I've always wanted a green lipstick and I finally have one. A green liquid lipstick because I do have Midnight Wasabi by Fenty. So Creature isn't going anywhere. Uh, Coven Cream, not going anywhere. I'm not even gonna act like I know how to pronounce this, but this color isn't going anywhere. And London Bridge, I'll keep for now. Oh wait, no, I have some more of the Lunatic ones. This is Tainted Temptress, I'll keep. This is Paranormal, that I will keep. And this is... Renegade, which I will also keep. This is by Gerard Cosmetics. This is their Hydra Mats in the shade Invasion. I'm pretty sure I've had this for over two years and I don't think I've ever used it, so... Alright, so I have a collection of just random glosses. So this is by the company Kiss Me by Live Glam Single AF. This is by Pexi Pixie. This is their Lip Icing Cake. I don't have another one like this, so I feel like I should probably just keep this one. Um, this is by Pure. I used this in a video the other day. This is Exposed. I like this. This isn't going to give like any color. Well, it'll give you some color to your lips, but it won't do much. So if you like lip glosses like that, this is a nice one. I think it... I got this in an eyeshadow palette, so I don't know if they sell it separately, but it's nice to have. This is Makeup Revolution... Echelon. Um, I believe when I used this in the one video that I used it in, I liked it, but I can't remember it enough, so. Alright, I'm back for the third time. This time around my camera died. I think I cut off on glosses. I have the Fenty gloss. This is not going anywhere. This is my favorite gloss, and my second favorite gloss is the Elf and Alyssa Ashley collaboration. So these two are not going anywhere. I love them both. People were saying that they were dupes for each other. They are not. Um, but they are both still great glosses to have. These are by Estee Lauder. These are their Pure Color Envy Liquid Vinyl. Um, I know there are three different types, so if you're wondering about the formula on these, make sure to check out that video because I believe I had certain opinions on a certain type or something like that. Um, but for the most part, I think it was the mattes or something like that. I don't even remember like what the three different types are. I know there's like vinyl, what is it? Vinyl, that's a vinyl, metallic, and then I think matte are the up. Yeah, matte, vinyl, and metallic. I don't believe I liked the metallics or the vinyls, um, and I, I think I liked the mattes and the metallic. Check out that video, but all I can say are the mattes were a good formula. I was here for those. I can't remember whether I liked the metallics or it were the vinyls that I liked. So, this color, 407... I'll keep this. This is 203. That's a no. 402. That's a no. 109. I'll keep this. This will be a nice lip topper. 309. I'll keep 309. 404. 404 can go. 304. I'll keep 304. Um, 311, this will be a nice lip topper, ooh, almost dropped it, 201, 201 can go, 110, 
110 can go. 410. I'm going to keep 410. And 303. I'll keep 303. So I have these two lipsticks from Maybelline. These are the Vivid Hot Lacquers. Um, I believe this I purchased because I thought it was a black, but it's really like one of those really, really dark purples. And I also thought they were mattes, and I'm pretty sure these are like a glossy type of lip product. I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep them both even though I thought this was black. Um, you never know when I might need this type of formula for a color that could pass as black. These are the Sigma Lip Switches. I have used these in videos before. The only thing that I don't like about these are that they're really just for creating art on your face. If you're trying to put this on a look that you think you can wear out, it ain't gonna happen fam. All right, the second you speak, you know, breathe, eat um it's your whole face your whole lips are going to be all over your face so that's why i just use these for days when you know i'm trying to be creative take a picture for instagram something like that and i think i have doubles of just about everything that's in my hands right now um i'm gonna keep one of each so this is pink lotus um this is transcend this orange one is flip flop and no, this isn't a double. This one is double whammy. I've got these two from Lancome. They're shake something. I don't know. You're supposed to like, I honestly, as pathetic as this is going to sound, I don't know how to use these. I think you're supposed to like shake something and then um, like this, the color is supposed to come out or something. I've completely run out of space, but I just don't feel like using my other hand. Um, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these just because I feel like I should at least figure out how to use it before I get rid of it. But then again, the fact that I've had them for a minute and I've never bothered trying to use, they can go. All right, I have these two glosses from Becca. These are their liquid crystal lip toppers. This one I absolutely love because these um they also have that kind of you know it's this color but they've got some type of reflex that'll make it look a different color. This one will actually turn into a goldish color on your lips. And I don't remember which color this one gives but I'll, I'll part ways with this one but this one ain't going anywhere um I, I love this as a lip topper i've done several videos on jouer lip products i i've used jouer lip products several times as far as the formula goes i think jouer makes um really these are lip creams as well i believe even though i've said several times now that i'm not the biggest fan of lip creams um i feel like i've said at least two or three in this video that i like i do like their lip creams i think they make nice lip products However, my issue with Jouer has been and still is that they release the same colors every time they come out with some type of lip product. It's always nudes, pinks, they might throw in a purple, they might throw in, you know, um, a, a red, and that's about it. I've been asking for over a year now. Please give us some type of, you know, colorful look there. You know, I know the whole company is like, you know, based on France and different areas and things about France, but I'm sure there's some type of, you know, like colorful something in france you know all the artists that come out of france you can't you can't keep like one collection especially since no one would be expecting it so if you released it everyone would be like oh okay you, you, you might have done something there but for the ones that i have this is the fun fetty lip topper i'm gonna keep this one just because of the coloring here um dolly can go Oh, this is this is Estee Lauder. This is not Jouer. This is 103 Estee Lauder, and I'll keep that. I dropped one. This is a uh, Snapdragon. I've used Snapdragon before, so I'm gonna keep Snapdragon. Um, Phrase. I'll keep her. Farah. Farah can go. What are you? Rose gold. I'll keep rose gold. Um, Broadway, I'm gonna keep Broadway. Via Condotti, I'll keep this one. And Noisette, I'll keep her. Okay, so we have a bunch of minis that Jouer released over the holiday season. This is Truffle, I'm gonna keep Truffle. Um, Stardust, Stardust can go. Uh, oh, some of these are minis of ones that I already showed you. So if I got rid of the big version, I'm not, I'm not keeping the small version either. 
aubergine. I'll keep her. Um, rose gold. I think I kept the big one, but I, I don't need two of them, so I'll let go of that one. This is not Joy. This is Grand Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I'll keep that. It's like a lip gloss, all right? Um, Sugar Plum. Sure, I'll keep that. Uh, Cerise Noir. I'll keep that. Oh, Tan Lines. That can go. I got rid of the big version of tan lines. I think this is probably the boldest Jouet has gotten with any lip product they have ever put out. This, all right? Um, cranberry, and because it is, I'm, I'm gonna keep that. Um, frostbite, I'll keep frostbite. And Dahlia can go just like the big version of it. There's another Becca Gloss. I don't know what shade this is, Topaz. And Glit, Gilt, the wrong word almost came out there. Um, I'll keep this one. I still have the Anastasia Gloss uh, Sepia. This used to be a ride or die. I did not feel like I could part ways with it the first time I did a lip declutter and I still feel like I can't part ways with it. Um, so I'm not gonna part ways with it. This is just a really good gloss. Again, this is a pigmented gloss if you are in search of one of those. Um, and this is just a really nice color on my skin tone, especially if I use it with other things. So I'm gonna keep it. I found another one of those Katie Cat glosses by CoverGirl. And that one can go. All right, I've got two lip glosses. I think, yep, yeah, two lip glosses from Sigma. This is Sheila and this is Lip Vex. I will let go of Sheila and I will also let go of Lip Vex. Right, I've got two of these, um, you know, roll on lip glosses, little, little ones we used to use back in the day. Um, usually when I start out a video, I'm either wearing one of these or the Jouer Lip Enhancer. And because of that, I'm going to keep these because they are what I use to like prep my lips before I do any type of look. I'm really just looking around to see like what's left and like how we can wrap this up because who is watching videos this long? This is by Kat Von D. This is the Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick in the shade Ludwig. I'm pretty sure she has an everlasting um, lipstick in this shade as well, which I think I owned at one point. I don't know. I'm gonna keep this one because I do like this color in combination with other ones. Found another Kate lipstick from Rimmel London. Now we're just dealing with, you know, like whatever was at the bottom of that box. And this is, this is a nice color. This is, uh, oh, this is the number 30. It's a very nice color, but it can go. Now you've probably seen MAC collections where they've got like a thousand MAC lipsticks, 520, I have three matte lipsticks this is del rio i think i kept it in my last video just because it was my first mac lipstick and i did use this for a hot minute like a couple summers ago maybe two or three this was the only <laughs> lip color i was wearing and because of that I'm, again i'm gonna still keep it i bought the lipstick that they did in collaboration with taraji henson um i don't remember what it was called but it's this and i never used it like ever but i'm gonna keep it because there's gonna be a time where i need to use it so i'm gonna keep it and then i have one of their retro matte liquid lipsticks i did like the formula of this i just again you guys have seen this color in this decluttering quite a few times so i never really reached for it so this one can go i'm gonna keep the two actual bullet lipsticks but that one can go i've got these two lip glosses from a sinful color pout play these are those you know you're at the counter and you see these lip glosses so you think hmm maybe i'll just use that and you know throw it in my bag my lips are ever dry or anything like that i'm not really here for the formula of these but i'm pretty sure i just keep them for that purpose just you know throwing it in my bag and if my lips need something then i'll use it for that do i really need two of them for that though no i don't so i'll let go of this one and i'll keep this one in my purse and that's another reason why i have this one by ruby kisses it's their crystal gloss you'll get a little bit um, more actual of this color pigment on your lips than you will this one but still 
the formula on these two what you think these would give you is exactly what these give you. All right, this is the Black Radiance Perfect Tone HD Lip Sculptor. I did like this when I used it in a video. I think it's a very pretty color, and for that reason, I am going to keep it. All right, I've got this Meet Matte Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick from The Bomb. This is a bomb red color, so it's not going anywhere. Let's see, this is a Ciate London Liquid Velvet. Have not tried this, so I don't know the formula. It is a pretty red, but really though, like how many reds do I need? I might have to do a whole video on just decluttering reds and like actually parting ways. Since when was red my favorite lip color? If you were wondering, I, I didn't get rid of it. All right, this is Kiss New York Professional. Is this a lip product? It is a lip product. Um, oh, that's a that's a that's a pretty red, and it's Kiss New. York. It's probably affordable. Now I'm gonna just bottle this up and we just gonna keep her because, yeah. All right, this is by Deck of Scarlet. It is a lip crayon, I guess. I don't know, something like that. That's a very pretty color. That's a really, that's a really pretty color. I'm gonna keep this. All right, this is the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Lip Oil. Look, lip oil, lip gloss, whatever you want to call it, I don't like this. The feeling of this on my lips, it's making my skin crawl and it's not even touching me. I'm not here for it. As far as if, if you're wondering, is it going to be this pink color when it comes out? No, it's not, sis. So let me just go ahead and twist that up. And All right, this is by Bite Beauty. It is their Beet Roots. The fact that I can remember some of these lipsticks from my last lip decluttering. I'm not sure why I kept it in the last one, but we've seen this color several times throughout these two videos so I didn't get rid of it the first time this time around it can go so I've got this single lipstick I'll say lip gloss from manic panic it is their glamination no that's not that's probably not what it's called uh, it's a lipstick from manic panic all right this is the color there oh look at that as you can see I haven't used it so we're gonna keep it but that's a very nice color and I think, I think last but not least, we are on the last lip products that I have to show you guys in this video. All right, this is by Maybelline. It is their Python Metallic Lip Kit. I showed this in a video. I believe I told you guys that I just liked this color. I didn't really care for the metallic part, if I remember correctly, um, but I did keep it. But after everything I've shown in this video, imagine this is the only red that I'm okay with getting rid of, but this is the only red that I'm okay of getting rid of. How I did like these, you know, they do have other versions of these, so I might check one of those out, but this one, I've kept enough red in this video. I am legit sweating, y'all. That took forever. I didn't think it would be that long. I didn't think I'd have to switch out memory cards, wait for my battery to, oh, wow. Wow, okay, I still have lipstick, okay. So I have these two cases from Nude Sticks. Um, this, these are their, I don't know what these are actually, moisture pencils. All right, so let me just open them all up. There's something in my eye. There's the Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm. It is a, a, ooh, ooh, look at that out of a pencil. I know I just said I was giving away a red, but I'm gonna keep this red. Mm -mm. I think I have an addiction. And then there's this Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Boho. Yeah. And there is there is boho you're gonna keep boho too so that is it for this video i'm gonna go ahead and leave the number of how many lipsticks i've actually decluttered in this two-part video right here or here thank you for sitting through two videos of this um i did not think it would take this long but then again i do talk a lot um and yeah that's pretty much it for this video so make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs> Thank you.